Raquel Pennington, also known as Rocky, made a compelling appearance as a witness during the highly publicized Depp Heard trial last year, where she revealed intriguing information. Could her testimony inadvertently suggest that Amber Heard had a hand in manipulating the once joyful Johnny Depp? Get ready for an in-depth look at the captivating revelations. Stick until the end of this video to find out more. I was scared for Amber, Raquel Pennington said in a video deposition played for the jury today in the ongoing defamation suit between Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. Pennington, who is Head's former best friend, is one of the witnesses called by Head's team the week of the infamous trial. Another podcaster and producer, Io Tillett Wright, also testified. Both he and Pennington testified to hearing or seeing violent interactions between Heard and Depp during the course of their tumultuous relationship that ended in May 2016. During her video deposition, Pennington became emotional when she was asked to describe photos documenting Heard's injuries from the alleged assaults by Depp. Pennington teared up as she described Heard with a bruise on her eye swelling on her nose, per NBC's News. Pennington also testified that Heard often had to cover bruises and injuries to her face with makeup. According to the New York Post, Pennington recalled Heard showing the injuries to her makeup artist and having to cover bruises before a December 2015 appearance on The Late Late Show with James Corden. Pennington denied allegations from Depp's legal team that she and Heard staged damage to the couple's Los Angeles penthouse in May 2016. Instead, she described an intoxicated intoxicated Depp swinging a wine bottle and damaging the couple's home. During her testimony, Pennington admitted that she never witnessed Depp hit Heard, but described seeing a bloody patch on Heard's head with missing hair, and deep cuts on the back of her forearms, allegedly from altercations with Depp. That incident resulted in police being called to the Eastern Columbia Building, downtown LA. Pennington and her then-fiancé lived there in a penthouse owned by Depp that connected to the one where the Hollywood couple lived. Pennington said that she was with Heard that night night when the Aquaman star got a text from Depp asking to come over, either to talk or pick something up. I thought it was a really bad idea, but you can't stop somebody from coming over to their own home. She said in her deposition, which was shown as the trial was broadcasted and streamed live on Court TV. A while later, Pennington said she was alerted that something was happening in the couple's penthouse and went to check on Heard. She testified that she heard Depp yelling inside, though she didn't remember what he was saying. She was calling for help, and that never happened before. Pennington Pennington said about Heard, saying, help me, help me. I went to put my hands up on his chest and I was like, stop, just stop. I was scared for Amber and I was sad for Johnny because he was my friend too, Pennington said, according to NBC News. I was worried for her physical safety. I was worried that when he turned, he might accidentally do something that was worse than he ever intended. Josh Drew was the former husband of Pennington and lived in the same building in Los Angeles as Depp and Heard. He testified to having an encounter with Depp in May 2015, during which Depp was screaming, cursing, spitting, in his face and yelling gibberish. Drew recounted that after that encounter, he found Pennington and Heard nearby, and they told him about an alleged physical confrontation with Depp. Amber was like cataconic, like a thousand yard stare, and she was like done. Drew said, per NBC News, like a ghost. Drew also testified that Depp showed up hours later for Heard's 30th birthday party. He came very obviously intoxicated and put on a show for everybody, Drew said in a video deposition played for the jury. Rocky's connections with Amber traces back to approximately 2003, and their friendship endured for many years, spanning Amber's tumultuous relationship and subsequent divorce from Johnny Depp. During the initial stages of their friendship, they even shared a living space, and later, Rocky resided in a penthouse apartment adjacent to Johnny and Amber's. Consequentially, Rocky played a pivotal role in the UK trial. However, it's worth noting that some fans observed that her testimony during the Virginia trial may have raised questions about her loyalty to Amber. In a recorded deposition, Rocky disclosed that she had not been in contact with Amber for a minimum of six months, shedding light on why their friendship had disintegrated. Notably, when asked why she had once considered Amber her best friend, Rocky's response was marked by a lengthy pause, sparking further curiosity among observers. Before she responded, you were best friends? We became very close friends. She also had the same reaction when asked if she still considered Amber one of her good friends today. And after taking a long and drawn out pause, she replied, I wouldn't consider her not a friend. What does that mean? We don't speak, we're not enemies. When confronted about why they grew apart, she again had the same reaction, saying, I wanted to spend more time with other people in my life and prioritize other relationships. Rocky was also asked about a Thanksgiving incident that ended in a fight between her and Amber, and she confirmed that they had a fight. She 
she said, we were setting up for Thanksgiving. We were looking for maybe some glasses. We couldn't find them anywhere. She finally found them in a place that I thought I had looked. We started arguing about that. I believe that I pushed her. She either pushed or hit me back. Indeed, keen-eyed fans didn't miss a beat, especially when Rocky's testimony revealed that Amber had allegedly punched her as per Rocky's account. These revelations raised legitimate questions about the dynamics of anger within Johnny Depp and Amber Heard's relationship. The credibility of both parties, Amber and Rocky, came under scrutiny. Some skeptics asserted that Amber's influence extended to coaching Rocky and the possibility of compensation contingent on Amber's victory in the case, potentially clouding their testimonies. This led to a significant level of distrust in the information presented. Furthermore, the contradictory statements made during the trial, such as Rocky's assertion that Amber used cocaine, which seemingly contradicted Amber's previous claims of abstinence, added to the overall confusion. These inconsistencies fueled the perception that Amber may have manipulated Johnny Depp, further intensifying the debate around the case. The Twitterverse was abuzz with discussions dissecting these contrast narratives and their implications for the broader understanding of the relationship dynamic. Over the course of your friendship with Amber Heard, did you ever see her using illicit drugs? Can you define illicit, not prescribed? Did you ever see her use cocaine? And to all these questions, her answer was a resounding yes. Let's consider how eagle-eyed fans were quick to spot glaring inconsistencies in the testimonies provided. One observant individual pointed out that IO claimed Amber was firmly against using a particular item, yet Rocky testified that she witnessed Amber using it on multiple occasions. These fans have proven themselves to be a reliable bunch, no doubt about it. Another astute observer highlighted yet another discrepancy in the testimony. Amber asserted that Rocky actively prevented her from applying makeup on the morning of the event and even engaged in a conversation about it. However, Rocky's account starkly contradicts this, as she claimed not to have seen Amber applying any makeup at all. These inconsistencies collectively raise suspicion that Amber may have manipulated Johnny, with Rocky possibly playing a role in the facilitating of this manipulation. Additionally, there's curious matter of the abrupt shifts in emotions exhibited by individuals in the courtroom. It was quite noticeable that laughter filled the room when Johnny's legal team asked questions, while the atmosphere seemed considerably different when Amber's legal team took the floor. This stark contract and reactions has left many pondering the motivations and authenticity of those involved. A certain viewer couldn't help but be troubled by Rocky's testimony as they noticed a stark contrast in her demeanor. During Johnny's legal team's questioning, she appeared disengaged, seemingly wanting to distance herself from the proceedings, a display marked by absence of emotions. However, a notable shift occurred when Amber's lawyers took to the stage. Rocky's behavior took an unexpected turn with her becoming visibly emotional, shedding tears over each photograph presented, despite having viewed those very same images without any visible distress just the day before. Another observer chimed in, emphasizing the peculiarity of Rocky's emotional responses. They found it rather unusual that Rocky would display such heightened emotions when responding to questions posed by Amber's lawyers, yet maintain composure and emotional detachment when Johnny's lawyers asked the very same questions. This inconsistency in her reactions raised eyebrows among others in the audience. Heard's friend and makeup artist Melanie Inglesis also testified via video as well. In the deposition, Inglesis documented covering up Heard's alleged bruised face and split lip before the 2015 appearance on James Corden's show. We covered the bruises with a heavier concealer, the makeup artist explained, per deadline, adding that she used a really red lipstick to cover up the injury on the lip. The court has adjourned for the day, but Heard's team will continue its defense tomorrow. The real question was, what really happened to the friendship between Amber and Rocky? Or was she just pretending to not be close to Amber so that her testimony would be more believable? We don't know for sure, but we have more great tea in the next video. That's all for today. We hope you enjoyed that video, and if you did, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more more videos like this.